Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Back at you with an easy recipe. Here are all the ingredients that you are going to need for this recipe. I did leave out olive oil, but you will need olive oil. Um, as well as noodles, I'm using gluten-free, some type of Alfredo sauce, I like the Classico because it is gluten-free, as well as artichoke hearts, minced garlic or fresh garlic, spinach, and ground turkey or ground beef. We like to eat ground turkey in our house, so that is what we have. Oh, and wine, you're gonna need that too. I did pour myself a glass during this. I love the Apothic Red, so if you wanna see exactly how I created this dinner, then please keep watching. Your first step is to brown the ground turkey or the ground beef. Then you're going to get another pan and drizzle some olive oil in the bottom of the pan. And then you're going to add your minced garlic. Then you're just going to continually stir the garlic so it doesn't turn brown or get stuck to the bottom. And then after that you are going to open your can of artichoke hearts and make sure you drain out all the liquid. And then I just pulled out one at a time and broke it over the pan and I just repeated this step with the remainder of the can. Once you're done emptying the artichoke hearts into the pan, then just go ahead and give it a quick stir. I'm also going to add some pepper and some garlic salt. I tried to show you what I was adding, but since the light was on the other side of me, it was just a dark blob that I was showing to you, but I am adding some black pepper and I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic salt, which you can kind of see that. Then you're just gonna wanna mix it all up. While that was cooking, I went ahead and filled my smaller pot with some water so that I can start boiling the gluten-free spiral noodles. And here I just added the noodles and I used a small pan. I tend to go overboard when I cook noodles and then I have way too much pasta and a lot less of the other ingredients. So this time I went with a softer hand here and I didn't add as much noodles. Next, I added in the fresh spinach and I just eyeballed this. Generally, I don't add enough spinach, so I added a lot because once it starts cooking, it obviously gets much smaller. And I've had a tendency to have my spinach completely disappear because I don't put enough. So I did look like I went overboard, but it ended up being just enough. Thank you. 
Next, you're going to add in your Alfredo sauce. I personally like the Classico brand because all of their sauces that I've come across, I may be wrong, but all the ones I've come across are gluten free. I'm gonna do a little switcheroo here and bring back the pan that has the ground turkey in it. It's a little bit larger than the other one, so I just wanted to make sure I could fit everything in the pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump the Alfredo sauce mix on top of the ground turkey, and then I'm gonna stir it all together. Here I'm removing the pasta pan so that I can drain it. Now just dump in your pasta and go ahead and give it a good stir. And since I wasn't following a recipe and I just kind of tossed ingredients together that I knew tasted well, the Alfredo sauce became a little bit runny so I did add a half a stick of Philadelphia cream cheese into the center just to get warm and melt. Once the cream cheese has had time to melt about 5 minutes, I go ahead and just give it a good stir and you can add any additional seasonings you wish at this point or you don't have to. It's totally up to you and your taste buds. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it. We do family vlogs, I do planning videos as well as cooking videos, cleaning, lifestyle, and business. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!